to the UN Habitat Philippines, League of Cities of the Philippines, DENR, other organizers, donors, participants, and guests, good afternoon and happy World Cities Day. As a response to the ever-growing threat of climate change and the rapid urbanization of cities in Asia, the city government of Kalapan has adopted a 10-year Green City Development Framework. Our vision for the Green City of Kalapan is to become a premier green city with God-loving, economically empowered, and culture-rich citizens who are actively participating in good governance and coexisting harmoniously with the environment. Our mission is to initiate and sustain programs that create an environment conducive to development through transparent, accountable, and participatory governance. To attain this vision and vision, the Green City of Kalapan Development Framework has three interdependent pillars, green economy, environmental protection, and equitable services. It pursues a competitive economic growth while ensuring that the development is climate resilient and people-centric. More than half of Kalapan City's territory is marine, and we are fortunate that we are part of the Birdie Island Passage, which is considered as the world center of the center of marine shorefish biodiversity. Unfortunately, our sea, like in most parts of the Philippines and the world, is also constantly subjected to various stressors, marine pollution, overfishing, and overexploitation. Climate change, habitat destruction, and poverty in coastal communities. So, we wholeheartedly thank the UN Habitat Philippines for selecting us as one of the six pilot cities for the implementation of the Healthy Oceans and Clean Cities Initiative. Marami pong salamat! This project clearly complements the Green City of Kalapan Initiative and the city government is fully committed to do our part in our agreement of cooperation. The Sangguniang Pangnunsod already adopted the Kalapan City Plan of Action on Marine Litter on August 31, 2022. And the implementation of our project is now underway. Our local plan of action is also in support of the country's national plan of action on marine litter. The OXI project addresses many of the issues on solid waste management in Kalapan, including the attendant problem on marine litters in coastal areas and the sea. It will not only reduce residual wastes that go directly to the landfill, it will also dramatically improve recycling. It will further create livelihood opportunities to communities, street sweepers, and garbage collectors. In our development framework, we put premium on the protection of the sea and the marine resources to ensure not only the protection of biodiversity, but more importantly, the sustainability of marine resources that our coastal communities are dependent on for their livelihood and sustenance. To institutionalize this commitment, in 2023, we will be the first local government unit to have a full-fledged city fisheries management department that will significantly expand the marine protection and benefits to the coastal communities. And to complement the Hoxie project, we are instituting reforms and strengthening further the effective solid waste management with the strong participation of the communities and other stakeholders. We also started in August the strict implementation of waste segregation in all city government offices and facilities. And next month, a no single-use plastic policy will be adopted in all activities of the city government. We in the government should lead by example. 
By the first quarter of 2023, a total ban on the selling and use of the seven item single use plastic will be enforced in the entire city of Calapan. These initiatives will greatly contribute in the reduction of waste generated in the city. The tasks ahead are still daunting, but the local governments have the unique opportunity and mandate to steer our people to chart the future of our communities. Communities that are empowered, sustainable, and resilient. But we cannot do it alone. The local government units and the communities need the full support of the national government institutions, multilateral agencies, UN bodies, and other local and international institutions to fully realize our common vision of communities that thrive on healthy ocean, on healthy environment. So please support us. Thank you very much. Babuhay po tayong lahat.